QS stock is in a strong bullish trend. It's 200 day moving average is sloping bullishly upwards. The stock is up 21% roughly and it's equally trending, following a highly anticipated live demonstration that showcased its solid state battery technology inside a Ducati motorcycle during a VW event. The demo served as one of the first tangible real world applications of the company's long promised battery, battery breakthroughs, sparking renewed optimism across the EV and clean tech investment community. Community discussions are buzzing with uh, speculations about uh, what comes next, production timelines, uh, potential OEM deals, sector impact, and much more. So let's see what we have. Uh, the underlying trend, as I indicated earlier, is strongly bullish. High prices are expected to remain in place up till Tuesday, the 16th of September. Okay, that would be good. But um, margin of error is quite high because between now and then, that's a long time. That is uh, more than getting to it. We're looking at the prospect of uh, 11 trading sessions. No guarantee that that will be the case. But if it turns out to be the case, uh, it's also saying that it's going to get, get begin to contract after that by T, but Wednesday the seventeenth. No guarantee that uh, once again that uh, that will be the case. Projections we have here are saying uh, just mostly to the downside, nothing to the upside. However, we we do have upper projections that have uh, printed. This was as of the twentieth of August. We had uh, fourteen point one six. That will be close to 50% uh, premium from current levels. In this session, 10.68 upper projection or rather intraday high. Buying pressure, let's see what we have is, yeah, strong. However, we have, we still have uh, the derivatives that are, the, 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 the derivatives are still negative, indicating that strength, um, it hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't, um, built up enough momentum yet. It hasn't built up, and built up enough momentum. We could also try and see what what is going on uh, based on its uh, market grid. So it's either it hasn't built up enough momentum or caution is warranted, indicating that the strength it has picked up may not, um, it may not be able to sustain it. Yeah. So let's uh, quickly apply the market grid to see what's going on. So there, the stock is easily trading right outside of its uh, market grid. Market, the market grid, the maximum value is uh, eight point one nine. But at sometimes, in a lot of cases, the fact that it's also trading outside of its market grid, especially above it, is also a demonstration of strength, a demonstration of momentum. So there's a good chance, high like highly likely that it's going to pull back. However, there's also a very good chance that. Um, you may continue to print higher prices, you know. So um, it's either you could just put look at it this way: the market grid may may not have expanded yet to accommodate what is playing out. Maybe you could look at it that was that way as well. So we could also have a look at the daily chart. It might try the four hour chart. It may give us a different uh, view of what's going on. On the four hour chart here, you can see here it's clearly within that market grid. That market the, the value is at nine point nine six, and the stock is at nine point six five. So it's still pretty much pretty much saying the same thing. It has momentum. It is trading right close to the edge of the grid. Yes, indicating maybe yes, there's a good chance it may still continue to break out and maybe break through that market grid. But as far as it's trading at resistance levels naturally naturally you should be cautious most certainly not a time to jump in it's the best time to be taking profits not the best time to jump in indeed you may continue to print higher prices and you may feel like you have lost out but it once the stock is trading at resistance levels caution is warranted you know this is not the end you could always uh, get in with getting on other stocks that are you know fundamentally sound you know uh have opened up you know, a good opportunity for you to get in. But right now, may not be the best. May not be the best time to jump in if you want to jump in. Okay. 
So that's pretty much what's going on. We could uh, see whether we can have a look at some of the probabilities that uh, we can we can test to see um, what the odds are. Okay, so after printing this high of 14.64 as of the 18th of July, the stock has since pulled back. So we could try and see what uh, what are the prospects of it testing. Let's see here, we have, um, uh, let's test the 10, the peak of this 10 day moving average, 12.59. We could just have a look here. Uh, yeah, first, first test is indicating we have the less than 50% chance that it will print. Let's see now, 12.59 was what we had earlier on. Okay. Second attempt is also indicating it has a less than 50% as well, chance that it will be retested. Yeah, also three attempts indicating that um, it has a less than 50% chance that uh, it will be retested. So let's just see how things go. It's currently trending right now. Okay, I'll continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video. So let's before we do that, let's just see how active the market is for, for the stock. Let's see how uh, traders are trading. Uh, traders and indeed uh, investors, the regular investors are trading. Yeah, we can see here it looks quite active. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of orders waiting to sell at higher prices. Twenty nine point six one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, they are going through anyway. Yeah. Nine point six three. Nine point six two. This is where more, much of the aggression is, where the where the right on the price of the stock. That's where the aggression is. You can you can you, you can see this buy with market, sell with market. So if you're buying with market, you are feeding the aggression just with this button. You know you you want them to give you serve you. You know feed your order at the at the market at the market price. You know that's where ag aggression keep, keeps uh, comes in from. So you can see clearly some people are you can see here this is not this is not a, this is the person with this is not aggressive you know i wouldn't say that everybody here is aggressive everybody right on the everybody right on the mark of the of the of the stock of the price yeah right on the mark of the price are aggressive some may just some may have uh maybe as a result of the order falling through Okay, let's see what we have. Time and sales, let's see as well. Yeah, a decent amount of uh, orders are going through. Yeah, if I have to sort 7,700. Yeah, it looks quite uh, liquid. It looks quite liquid, yeah. Okay, just have a look and see what you make of uh, QS stock. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video.